Hello everybody, welcome to A Crafter's Story. Thank you for stopping by, it's Celeste here. Um, I went and braved the snow. I walked all the way to the mailbox, only to come back with junk mail. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> junk mail and two bowls. And it was almost not worth it. But then I thought, well, if I made all that effort to go to the mailbox and pick up, you know, flyers from the grocery store and things like that, I might as well use it, right? See if I can't do a collage project on it. And so I did. And um, I cut out a bunch of stuff and uh, came up with this collage project that I completed. Um, my son has already claimed it. <laughs> So it's an 8x8, which made me a bit nervous because I didn't know if 8x8 was a frame size, but apparently it is, so I can get a frame for it. Um, I looked on Amazon and you do get 8x8 eight, eight eight inch frames, thankfully. Um, so yeah, so I did all of that and let me see if you can recognize, there are some oranges, these are two wine glasses. There's two bouquets of flower, those are mushrooms, <laughs> cherries, um, I think there's like a stir fry in there. This here came from there. So I thought let me see if I could recreate, well not recreate, but do something like this again. And um, in addition to the collage itself, also to show you um, it really is just a piece of cardstock that I cut a hole in, a square, a square hole, a square hole, you don't get a square hole, a square, that square, <laughs> um, so let's get started, um, I'm using some me um, mixed media paper, it is my 8 inch by 8 inch, uh, 98 pound mixed media paper by Grumbacher, Gr Grumbacher, oh boy, I'm not good with words today. Anyway, there it is. And I'm just really going to play. I don't know what we're going to be able to do, and it um, doesn't really matter. I have some of this gold paint. Uh, I want to get a bigger brush. Let me just grab a bigger brush. So I've got some watercolor gold. I think I have the description um, and link, Amazon link, for this one in my description under my videos. Um, I'll double check. I just love this gold paint. I find it's um, sort of like an antique gold. It almost has like a sandy look to it. Um, with the that other one that I did, I actually had some black graphite pencil under it. Um, and at first I thought, oh, I don't know if I care for that, but um, I, you might think this is a bit of a waste of gold paint, um, and maybe, but once you have it as a background and it's, uh, the sunlight hits the background of your collage, excuse me, <clears throat> I am so sorry, um, it does add a little bit of, a little bit of bling to your collage. So, while that dries, I will show you how we're going to go and look for some, let me move this to the side, bring out our grocery list here, and see what we can find. Let me move that as well. So I think... I'm looking for produce. Oh, produce. This is where what I want. I love the blueberries. That's going to be nice. Get that cut out. <laughs> and with each of these, I'm just going to roughly cut them out and then just really just, again, roughly find the edge because once everything is overlapping or is overlapped um, in our collage it really doesn't matter if some of the white space is left behind so there's our blueberries so that's one piece and definitely these I think I'm going to use a bigger scissors 
and I want this orange and I want the yellow so that definitely want the yellow hmm what else so try when you're looking for collage fodder try to look past what you're looking at <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I'm going to take the cookies. I think the brown could be quite nice. Don't know what's for yet, but for something. Um, cinnamon rolls or a nice cream color. Grab those. Um, let's see. Oh, this looks like pretty pinks. See all the pretty pinks there? That's nice. What else is there? Oh, look at the candy. The candy is pretty. Let's get some of the candy. And I think I will go off and get some of the. Because I'm being very rough here. I'm trying to hurry. Oh, the licorice. <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let me put this aside. I think I might have enough. And I'm going to cut all these bits and pieces out um, so that we can use it in our collage. And then I'll come back. We'll see how we put it all together. Okay, so I have all our little bits and pieces very, very roughly cut out. I didn't spend very very much time maybe a couple of minutes just quickly quickly cutting everything out I'm going to take out my matte gel and just get down an initial layer of the gel in more or less the area where we're going to have our flower I'm going to do a flower again um, just because I want to see how it might look um, with different colors. I think I'll put some raisins there. Um, what about Let's put some candy on that side. A little candy on this side. Just gonna play. <laughs>
awesome. I've put the um, collage flower to the side and I'm going to make the frame. So this frame is, let's see, I'm going to just borrow the dimensions from this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. So I guess it's eight and a half by eight and a half because it's square. All right, so let me do that. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. So I've got to, I've got to cut it down here. And like that. Here's my knife here. My handy dandy craft knife. That. and then we want eight and a half this way as well so that's one two three four five six seven eight and a, just a half comes off <coughs> just like just like that all right and now I think what I did, I think I did an inch. Did I? I did. I did an inch. Um, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go on the all sides, same side, really. So I'm going to go and line it up as straight as I can that and draw in <clears throat> draw in oops I'm skew hold on like that <clears throat> one inch there oh Celeste come on stop looking stuff <clears throat> oh my goodness guys what is wrong with my fingers <laughs> they are being so <clears throat> not helpful Okay, there is another one. We've got to do two more. And I'm just going to cut the hole in the square in the middle out. And then that's our frame. And then you could, if you want to, you could paint it black. Um, you could leave it white. Um, uh, you, I don't know what to do this one. I guess it depends on the colors, right? of the collage and how that turns out so let's get rid of the inside so I'm just going to go from where the lines intersect <clears throat> down like that and get hold of my get rid of my square hole <laughs> I don't know why I think of a hole as being round I guess a hole can be any size, right? Or any shape, rather. Made myself laugh. <sighs> Let's see. And then almost there. So this is maybe not quite the fun part. But it's nice to be able to make your own frame. And um, then when you get to buying the you know the, the frame of the gloss that, that part uh, wait let me rather not tear it then you've already got your um, your paper frame right that you can just make yourself <gasps> did I tear it ah don't tear it okay there we go all done and now when you switch it over all your pencil marks are gone and this is still wet so I can't go down completely and I think I want to put in some more um, of the blacker lines around but let's see what that would look like if we were to go down with that today that is how we would frame it oh I'm not in frame hold on let's do that what do you guys think should we have a color on this one I'm kind of thinking green like a dark green what do you, uh, Maybe just black again, right? 
yeah maybe I'll keep it keep it with just the black so all I'm going to go away and do now is I'm going to go and get my my folk art multi-surface and I'm going to paint this whole thing black and hopefully by the time I'm done with that we are dry here um, I want to show you on this one if I I wonder if you can see can you see a shine on the leaves you see how they kind of shine with the light that's because I took clear nail polish and I I took this clear nail polish and I just colored them in with the clear nail polish and it just gave the leaves against a shine against the mat of the rest of the um, collage so that's an option if you guys want to do that all right so let me leave this to dry get that frame painted and then we'll put it all together um, I gave this some time to dry because it it had a lot of layers on it it had um, quite a lot of Mod Podge on it and after I put these second leaves on I just thought you know what give it a minute and then all the paint is dried I am going to go in and just in give this little bit of an extra something something like that because I think what I did with the with this sort of beigey color paint is I um, I covered some of these petals so but I don't want to do too much I think that's probably going to be enough give a little bit of extra like like this and then we're going to put the the frame on and I talked about doing a green frame and then I was like no we'll do the black frame um, and when I looked at the black I like it but I thought you know we've already done a black frame on the the first one that I did this one this one had the black frame already and I thought let me try the green and now I'm glad I did because I think the green looks really nice but it's a bit plain so let me see if I can move us up just a little bit so we can a little bit more space so I'm going to take my crafter square gold pen my paint marker and I'm just going to nothing fancy just draw a line smack down the middle of so let's see I think that's roughly speaking that would be the why don't I measure it up that way I can't mess up <laughs> I mess up all the time <laughs> okay so that is this is an this is an inch there I'm gonna do a half an inch half an inch like that and just run my pen down see if I can get it somewhat straight oh so like this okay somewhat straight like that and I'll just go from end to end next to it I'm getting some of the paint pen on my ruler which is okay nothing a little bit of rubbing alcohol can't get rid of so I need to just get a little get myself all like, like sewish <laughs> it's like bearish hereish and sewish <laughs> they are official crafting terms <laughs> crafting measurements <laughs> oh goodness me ah, I'm you know what I'm just gonna eyeball this that's fine that works I'm trying just not to get the gold on my mat but probably shouldn't be all right so I'm just gonna eyeball this it takes too long to sit there and try and figure out what half an inch looks like I think that should do it and I think it's smudged a little bit but I can get some green paint out and um, just get that patched if I have to oopsie oopsie daisy like that 
and last one that makes such a difference hey goodness gracious I just love this gold accent it makes a huge difference it just gives it a little bit of like something something you know a little pizzazz <laughs> a little something extra okay and let's see if I can pick this up carefully so there's a little spot here and there where it's smudged there's a little spot over there but it's okay because I can come in and uh, with my my green paint and fix it if I wanna I may not wanna <laughs> and maybe I'm just okay with it just be, to be like that okay so I think it's yep it's dry it dries pretty quickly um, so this is the underside obviously the messy side I'm gonna get a little bit of my double-sided tape and get that stuck down a little bit over here <clears throat> I really really like how this one came out it is the same as my original but different you know because the colors are just slightly lighter than the original um, and I think having a different color frame makes it slightly different um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to put the nail polish on my leaves because now I've got two leaves and I probably do you know because it just it did add a little bit of a little bit of a three-dimensional sort of piece to it I don't know um, and it's just dollar store nail polish guys nothing fancy so okay so let's bring this in and because everything is sort of symmet semi-symmetrical we don't have to worry about what's top and what's bottom we just have to figure out whether we want this to be okay that's centerish right <laughs> uh, there we go I think that's probably fine let's let's do that that looks good oh my gosh you guys look at that yowza 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 good yowzers <laughs> okay I'm, I'm a little bit in love with this one it really turned out beautifully and honestly <laughs> from oranges and blueberries to I think that was a chicken salad there's some lemons there's some little cherry tomatoes there's watermelon raisins were in the middle I think that was red licorice um, Oh, there's some green grapes. I think it was green grapes. Oh, there's some ham, some shaved ham. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's kind of funny, but it's awesome at the same time. Um, how collage is just so... Um, it's almost like reading a mystery novel with a really surprising ending. I think that's what is for me so there's that one and then I'll remind you of this one some oranges and cherries and bouquets and wine glasses and floral favorites I really hope this is inspiring to you and that you will now start collecting grocery coupons to <laughs> collect your grocery coupons and adverts to do your collage work <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun and I really love, um, I'm, I'm really glad that I decided to, to go with green and not black. It just, um, it worked out. So um, if you really loved this video, if you had some fun with me, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.